This is the girl Justine Agnieszka Chevalier. How to reduce killing quota? Killing quota is reduced by I by first of all a knowledge that killing is a conscious plan remediation of killing somewhere else and therefore a choice not as an instinct a person's uh, any person the same as animal driven to such circumstances that goodness is no longer an option most common one that comes to mind is persistent ongoing harassment especially sexual one for example taking a person in love with someone else impeding relationship and forcing teenage or unwanted partners on that person mapping that person on a map as a aggressor and that person defenseless then locked in a house being unable to defend self committing a suicide or homicide many cases many cases of that of course not all cases so we need to know when it is that morality and law are one those are cases when they are not one and therefore law is illicit okay when it is that law is licit which means moral for example as i sit here and i've been here maybe two days i am not allowed to stay overnight and i for example have with me 500 dollars and that 500 dollars i earned through my uh, fundraising um, for the self-sustainable household that is an anecdote and then there is a person that comes and says well you need to leave because this is impeding others the usage and during the night it is actually not convenient and out of concern for all and others you have to go somewhere else and use that money and that is that uh, the person then asks which is an actual of officer who performed partially good job partially good job uh, uh, in comparison to other officers actually in another uh, well in the same state in different cities uh, it is a, a decent job there are some things uh, areas of improvement uh, easily to fix a uh, person needs to present so there is a sign no sitting after uh, seven in a outside shelter that is the law and the person comes and says okay it is after seven you are still sitting here do you have any means to purchase yourself any other accommodation and i can say yes i do so why do you sit here well i sit here because i actually enjoy it here this is an outdoors thing as well but that's the law and so i would like you to leave then this is licit, moral and legal for me to say I agree with that, I apologize, I do not wish to sit here and violate the uh, regulation. One can also ask, especially I who uh, is just a resident with stolen green card, uh, a, a polite question, what are the origins of such norm? What led you to have no sitting here after seven law and he says, well, it actually was originally introduced because persons have had a chance to have an independent household each and the persons would actually forget completely about it, not pursue it and enjoy, you know, again, this um, emotional uh, fun and uh, bubble beer sitting outside winter would come and persons would not have then any other chance and would commit crimes being called like shoplifting and doing bad things and that is why we introduced that law so that uh, we actually have persons better off without harm in between and that is the difference again you see a difference is this a person is not blocked from 
obtention of household or pushed to live on streets like in Portland, Oregon, where there are many 20, 30 uh, tents on streets. And I can tell you why. It requires to have passport, address, and also another form of identity card, local one, all of which are requiring bank account to purchase, to open bank account. And only then a person can pursue lease, lease being pending as a requirement to obtain bank account and those identity cards. And that is a limbo in which if a person sits under a roof when it rains, at fault, and listen to me carefully, is any government representative that is right now in active duty, be it police, administration, politician, to create such forceful, actually, homelessness of groups considered later on remediated by demeaning, in fact, food and other services instead of solving these problems that are actively being refused to be solved by officials and police officers. And it is a social problem. Now, this chapter also has a question. What a concept of non-killing lifestyle. Non-killing lifestyle is a lifestyle that per se in a given area because of hard work of all persons involved that includes taking criticism not as a basis to harm but as basis for any immediate dynamic improvement of performance to benefit self and others in realization that there is no other one and then enabling all of us to have affordable, non-killing items and food and live in harmony with animals. That is non-killing lifestyle. What does Charlie's Inner Satori, which is my consulting, do? I come up in a given area with a free report that I do because it concerns me as being part of a given society, even as a passerby. I then give that to a person or persons who can use it from diverse areas of life because we do not live isolated in bubbles. And then it is divided into subgroup or individual reduction in whatever it is based on awareness that in proportions to uh, beings being in pain, uh, another person that is uh, creating demand or providing such services for others and for self gets sick, gets uh, violent and gets targeted. And so reduction of that, such as for instance, removal of purchases that are uh, requiring stripping of skin uh, reptiles, even if it's in Mexico. Even if it's far away, we do not need a reptile couch, for instance. Why? Because it does translate in medicine, in unknown origins, distress, because those animals scream for help, even on barbiturates. And then also night terrors and children also perceive parents as double-faced or unpredictable, which happens to all of us when we were little. And it is because animal is a mammal also, many of animals, and we then have that DNA marking us as being dangerous. And that is not per se something that is an irremediable mental illness and cellular or brain changes unless we ignore that message. And that message ongoing over and over creates holes in the brain in proportion to shot dogs or persons sometimes when one was in charge such as it was in the case of many hunters actually from my area that is why non-killing lifestyle is reduction and knowledge but there is no revenge there is no pursuit of harm when there is non ongoing pain however when that is planned in bouts there is then conscious elimination 
of those who create that harm and create obstacles. And we can avoid that by knowing such, being aware of such, and living to improve progressively area to the safest one. Taking as a model a paradise, in fact, that is here and now, if we use reason to excluding none, pursue well-being of all, including self, guided by body as source of such impressions and respect such in all others at all times and assist and so that is also not fully yet answered how can i buy health and life when i use money to enable others to be independent and healthy and in dire circumstances to regenerate in peace as opposed to in debt. I waste money when I purchase life or place life at price because that is a fiction. I don't cost money nor does any other animal. Like I said, one is enough in a forest. No so. It is a fiction created by an equaling of dead meat in pants to a kilogram of, for instance, a kasha or a um, rice, and for instance, a kilogram or a few, uh, you know, two uh, pounds of, um, I don't know, potatoes in price. And then it seems like if I cut off an ear like Van Gogh of own, I will get for that uh, my brother to pay a, a person who forced me to do such a sandwich. And that is a fiction. So we need to know, in legal and also in devoid of legal aspects, situations do not offer money to purchase life, negotiate to the last, to have persons freed. And that is what freedom fighting is and also human rights activists and animal rights. And remember, there are animals uh, with uh, price tags, there are humans with price tags. And that is both illusion, one is enough to know that it is not true, that it costs money to stay alive or that it costs money to have marriage, sex and have children or feed such. Such is why is the universe. So is there a deadline of love? No. Also, love does not follow the generation and then winning off. It's false. What happens is that settling during sexual and emotional maturation, presence in mind, then in precognition, when such is in collaborate with the other person as shared experience of being in love, creates many so-called suitors for a female or maidens for a man who then rival for the role of ideal life partner by goodness. So doing good so that there is no need and no fear uh, when children are around and when spouse is by self, one or the other, for non-stop stress and worry. And that is what the answer is. There is no deadline of love, no there is uh, no, nor there is a stage after being in love of the comfy life that is boring. It's false. The bond between actually spouses is much more enjoyable and is a continuum. The other stage actually appears in, in marriage, especially in times when there is need to pursue well-being of one another. And so that is the truth. So that cyclicity applies to chances to form a relationship with one person for life. And that is then, there are many participants and none is excluded unless there is reciprocity in the greatest enjoyment and there is such enablement that there is safety so no fight and flight response to for instance prevent fires and floods for all there is no other and shared goods 
to the thriving of all in no resentment, which is possible and not that easy to do. And the second question was, stop working for your own death and death of loved ones. Yes, life policy and all those funds are to ensure well-being of self, not to offer own death and to work toward it or God forbid in all others enable that as a plan of medical care. 